Hello to everyone who is interested. This is about uh, QGIS and OpenStreetMap. In uh, QGIS you can automatically add the open standard OpenStreetMap. And uh, we are interested for Bagio, so let's zoom into Bagio. Um, you can see there is only the city boundary, and that's it. There's nothing else rendered in the standard tiles. So we're going to use a plugin which you can install from the plugin menu. And it's uh, called Quick OSM. It shows up in the vector once it's installed. You can go to Quick OSM, and here you say uh, in. Make sure you select in. And you say Bakio. We only want to know what's in Bakio. And the uh, barangay level, that is 10. So if we have the admin level 10, that corresponds to the barangays. We say run query. It will now fetch this information from the OpenStreetMap database and it'll show up here once it's done. The um, Uruks, they are admin level 11, so we do them in a different query. You can do that in the same query actually, but I do it separated. Again, in Baggio, make sure you select in Baggio. Now we've got both. So as you can see, it got the, the barangays, and for the barangays where I already added the Purox, it also shows the Purox. Um, so Scout Barrio is done, and uh, Irizan is done. Um, these boundaries are set by me by personal surveying. That means I walked around, I looked which houses belong to which Purox, and then I set the boundary between. So it's it's unofficial data uh, because neither the city has this data nor the barangays has, have this data. From city camp where I'm working now, they actually do have this data, so there I can work very exact. Um, well, I suppose everyone knows how uh, QGIS works, so you can disable the areas, you can disable the nodes, and if you don't like the colors like the red here, it's, it's very badly visible. Go for dark red, so it's more visible. Um, if you don't like that the black is on top of the red, just level up the barangays and now you see you got the barangay boundary over the poor boundary. And this is about it. This is how you can work with the poor boundaries and how you can work with barangay boundaries from the OpenStreetMap database and load them directly into uh, QGIS. Uh, at this point I'm going to stop this video and um, I wish you good luck with it.